Hello and welcome to the Delaware Mortgage Rate Weekly Update. I'm John Thomas with Primary Residential Mortgage. Today is Monday, November 28th. Hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving Day holiday and had some things to be thankful for. Uh, what I want to do is update you today on the mortgage market, what the outlook is for the week. This morning we actually started off uh, negative. After Friday's close, the market was open for a short time. Bond market closed down, so that means if you remember rates moved inched up slightly. We started off this morning down again, actually a big down, so uh, rates came out uh, again worse. Uh, but then uh, sharply reversed course and actually we rallied and the bond market finished pretty high. So we saw a market improvement in rates today. So I'm going to recommend floating into tomorrow, see if this rally can continue. Um, if you're going to be closing in the next 7 to 10 days though, I'd go ahead and lock it in. Get this great rate, get it on the books. If you're closing you know, out to 30 to 60 days, go ahead and float this and see how you can do. Uh, one of the big things move the market today is the bond traders are saying that the feds are going to do QE3. Um, what the heck is QE3? That is quantitative easing round number three. That's where the feds buy either mortgage-backed securities or treasuries in order to try and keep uh, interest rates low. So they said they're going to buy uh, mortgage-backed securities and it is about $545 billion in mortgage-backed securities in an effort to keep home loans at record low levels, hoping to stimulate the housing market, which would cause uh, the recovery. So I'm going to recommend floating into tomorrow, see how rates go, see if they can get better. Now, uh, from the local, the local market in Delaware, we've got two real good programs we've got a lot of buyers trying to use. That's the uh, vacant home programs. We have two of them, one for Newcastle County and one for the city of Wilmington. Both of them will give you up to $10,000 and you don't have to be a first-time home buyer, so that's great. You just have to live in the house as your primary residence. If you live there for five years, they wipe it out, free money. So can't beat that. You are required to take eight hours of home buyer counseling. Counselors are getting backed up, so you want to get that scheduled even if you don't have a home yet. Get the counseling going and get everything in line. Uh, other thing is the next free first-time home buyer seminar is Saturday, December 17th in Newark at the Christiana Hilton Hotel. We have a 10 a.m. session, 10 to noon, and again, 1 to 3, and that gets you two hours of the eight hours of home buying counselor credit that you need. That's two hours with the neighborhood house who's sponsoring the seminar. So you can sign up for that. Give me a call, 302-703-0727, or you can sign up on the web at DelawareHomeBuyerSeminar.com. Um, looking at the, the week for today, we have on tap the big mover is going to be Friday is the employment report. Uh, they're projecting 123,000 new jobs to be created, so that could be uh, bad news for the bond market because that good news for the economy could be bad for the bond market. Uh, also, we see the stock market rally today, which is why the mortgage rates started off low. We had a great holiday season. Retailers posted some uh, good sales, real good sales. Everyone was out buying, so that was good news. Stock market rallied, which is what caused the bond market to start off to the negative. Well, we overcame that with the, the threat of the Fed's doing QE3. If you need help purchasing or refinancing a home, feel free to give me a call, 302-703-0727. Uh, if you just want a free analysis to see if it makes sense to buy or refinance, we do those too. If you're having a little trouble, you've been turned down by another lender, you may want to check out our Get Mortgage Ready program. Uh, and until next week, have a great week.